What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. My name is Johan and today marks the first day of this challenge that I'm gonna be doing which is the waking up at 5 o'clock for a week. So one of the things celebrities and many successful people generally have in common is that they all wake up at the early hours of the day. Whether it's 5 a.m., 4 a.m. or 3 a.m., they all start the day at a time when most of the world is still sleeping. Now these people have crazy schedules so for them it's very crucial to get a head start to the daily routine. Of course, I'm nowhere near as busy as some of these celebrities are, but at times I do find myself feeling like I'm living to work instead of working to live. And that is something I wanted to change. More energy, enhanced productivity and mental clarity are some of the benefits I was looking forward to as I decided to partake into this challenge. Alright guys, so during these next few days, I'm gonna be waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning. As I said, I'm gonna be documenting everything with you guys because, well, I'm not a morning person, so I want to document actually I'm going to feel doing this routine and the benefits that I experience, what I like, what I dislike. I'm gonna be hitting my workout very early in the morning. I'm going to be adjusting my meal plan to fit this new lifestyle that I'm gonna be living. <laughs> <laughs> but everything is going to revolve around me waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning, okay? Today I decided to go ahead and go outside and do some cardio because, well, the gym actually opened at 6 o'clock today, so it was a little bit late for me to get my workout in. So tomorrow is going to be really the very first day that we actually get a workout in early, early in the morning. <laughs> guys welcome to day number two of this waking up at five o'clock challenge today guys i'm feeling low on energy <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling pretty low on energy guys and that is one of the reasons i am not fasting today so right here i'm having an oatmeal shake with some protein because otherwise i think i might have actually died today okay <laughs> <laughs> I might not survive the day. Woke up at 5 o'clock once again, guys. Today is Tuesday. And to be honest, if I'm going to continue this challenge, I'm gonna have to make it a priority to go to bed earlier, guys. Because as soon as I woke up, I did feel like a little bit sluggish. Uh, like I wanted to keep sleeping. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, I had a pretty, pretty nice session. Um, uh, I didn't feel like any strength loss or anything like that. I mean, I lifted the regular weight I usually lift and I'm gonna take you through the workout right now. I started off with a bench session. So um, that went pretty well. I, I didn't feel weak whatsoever and this is everything on an empty stomach, okay? I did hit the workout on an empty stomach. I did not eat anything. The only thing I uh, did was take a pre-workout. Okay, that is the only thing I did and water, but besides that, I didn't eat anything prior to my workout. And to be honest, it didn't feel that, that bad. It felt uh, pretty great. And after that, I moved on to some uh, dumbbell press, incline dumbbell press, which also went pretty, pretty good. After that, I did some reverse um, dumbbell presses on the flat bench, which is one of my favorite exercises, to be honest. And I did finish things off with some flies, okay? I actually had to do shoulders also, but uh, I was a little bit short on time. Okay, it took me a while to get to the gym. As I said, I did wake up a bit sluggish, so it took me a while to get to the gym. So by the time I got to the gym and uh, actually started working out, it was almost six o'clock. So, uh, I mean, uh, I need to speed up that process, okay? <laughs> if I want to actually uh, complete my workouts from now on. So, right. so far, so good. Worked longer than it actually should have today, but the good thing was I already worked out. I felt energized throughout the day and I also didn't feel hungry. All in all, I'm very positive about this new routine and looking forward to the rest of the week. Good freaking morning, guys. It is day number three of this waking up at five o'clock 
everything. And today we're starting off with some legs. Today we're gonna be starting with some abductors and abductors work. Okay, we're gonna be warming up with that first before we get into the heavy squats and just the overall leg day, all right? I wanna get loosened up, I wanna get warm up, and I'm gonna listen to some fine tunes today, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'll feel great. I don't feel bad. I'm currently drinking my uh, ghost energy drink So uh, I got good hopes for this leg day So I'm gonna take you guys step for step through this leg day and how I'm feeling and how it's going and what the routine looks like So let's get it started. Okay guys as I said, I'm starting off the workout with a little work To be honest, I had a feeling this was going to be the hardest morning workout of the week But to my surprise it was the best workout I had all week Sweating, I took a little breaks in between sets since we're short on time, so all in all, it turned out to be a great one. One thing I do need to work on is getting to the gym as fast as possible. My alarm goes off at 5 o'clock, and after snoozing it for a few times, I'm up at around 5.15. It takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to get ready, so by the time I get to the gym, it's already 5.45, which leaves me with around 1 hour to train. Now depending on the routine this might be enough for you, but personally I would like to have a bit more time since I do warm up before starting the workout and I'm also filming and taking pictures for the gram. So I just got done with my first sets of warm up. I do about three sets of warm ups in total. Right now we have two plates on the bar on each side and we are going to officially start like with the first real working set of this leg workout. So I like to do, I like to stay on the low rep ranges for uh, my heavy compound movements. And then for the squats, that is around three to five reps, okay? Right now, I do try to focus on six reps whenever I have uh, my two plates on the bar. It's just like a personal goal to me, okay? <laughs> as long as I can do six reps, I know that I'm okay and I'm not really losing strength. So that's uh, how I like to like keep track of everything, all right? After this, I'm gonna still go up and wait and then focus on the three to five reps, all right? Okay, so first set done, I managed to get my six reps, heck yeah. <laughs> but right now, we added another 10 kg to the bar. So right now we have 30, no, oh, 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 it's too early for mad guys. Right now we have 50, and we have 50 over here. And the bar is 20, so we have 120 kg in total. Okay, 120 kg in total, and this is a regular standard three rep set for me. So I should have no problem with this. And if I do, then the dieting is just getting to me. So let's pray I can just lift this up, okay? Will I retain my strength as I start this new routine? Or will my workouts suck? I was mostly concerned with squats since it's an exercise that takes a lot out of you. But going into it, it's not great. You do feel like you still need to wake up a little bit, but if you think about it, it's pretty normal. You've just woken up from 6, 7 or 8 hours of sleep, so your muscles are relaxed and haven't been active for a while. That's why I think taking the time to properly warm up, aside from taking a pre-workout obviously, is very important. This way you will give yourself some time to get in the zone and fully wake up. So, so far, I haven't really noticed any strength loss from working out this way. time to hit some lunges okay I'm gonna be doing three freaking sets with the 28 kg dumbbells going over there six reps and coming back six freaking reps okay the hardest part of the workout which are the freaking squats is freaking done right now it's almost time to go to freaking work so I need to speed up this workout for a little bit if I want to get to work on time okay but okay we got to make them gains okay <laughs> so we are going to complete this freaking workout and I forget what one thing that I do want to mention is that I felt a little bit less in the zone when I decided not to shower before my workout my goal was to save a bit more time by skipping the early shower I mean I already showered before going to work so what's really the point well, I definitely felt like I was less awake, so taking that pre-workout shower does help you kickstart the day. 
Now it still might be a bit too early to say, but so far I haven't really noticed any negative aspects of waking up at 5 a.m. I'm still strong, I'm able to stick to my program a lot better since even if I have a long day at work, I already worked out, I feel energized throughout the day and I'm less sluggish at work. I have more free time to do more of what I love. So is waking up at 5 a.m. really that good? Okay, so we've got absolutely no time to talk because we are running pretty freaking late. But I'm gonna be showing you guys what I did right now. By the way, what you guys saw back there were some lying liquors, okay? Best exercise, hands down for hamstrings. Right now, we are doing the leg press, and we are doing the dip here, the single leg leg press, all right? And then we are super heavy, right over here. So, hyper extensions, okay? Great for the glutes, so really squeeze, 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 and stretch all the way down the hamstrings. And when you come back up, just really squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, this is getting weird, okay? <laughs> But nonetheless, we're gonna finish real quick. We got two sets, three sets in total, okay? Right now, we're gonna be finishing with our last two sets and we're going to get back home in a freaking hurry. So we have reached day number four of this waking up at 5 a.m. routine and this day was actually a rest day for me because I usually have two rest days per week but because we were not able to complete our workout on Monday I decided to get my shoulder session in on this day. Right now I'm gonna be taking you guys through the work and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I'm feeling right now since it's already day number four of this challenge. All right guys so we're starting the workout off with some unilateral work okay we're gonna be doing the single arm lateral races and I like to do these ones particularly with a kettlebell it just feels better and it feels like I'm engaging my shoulders a lot more and my battery is running low so I am plugging in the power cord right now okay <laughs> but let's continue so I'm feeling great man I um, haven't been that sleepy or uh, sluggish in the morning so I feel great the work uh, pre-workout has been working fine I guess <laughs> <laughs> but what's also been helping is that I'm been going to bed uh, pretty early. I mean, pretty early, 10.30 or 11 o'clock, I have to be in bed, okay? So uh, I, I have to do it, otherwise I will feel uh, like a, a little bit sluggish or like I have less energy in the morning, it happened to me uh, like on day two. So that's the reason that I made it a priority, you know, to go to bed early and uh, just get enough sleep, at least uh, six hours a day, you know. So that has uh, made a big, uh, a big change in these last few days. Move on to the next exercise for the shoulder routine is going to be some landmine presses. Okay, I love this exercise; it's very awesome. So try it out. Essential things for me in the morning are like, uh, you know, getting a sleep the night before. Taking my pre-workout, I mean, I think that helps a lot. And also like uh, taking that shower, that shower really like has a positive effect, you know, it really wakes me up. Cause just uh, washing my face with some uh, uh, icy, icy cold water does not uh, do the job, okay? I need to really shower and to, to really wake up my whole body. So uh, that does help and also warming up, okay? Warming up properly, warming up, giving myself the time either on the Stairmaster or treadmill or just really, really stretching nice. It just a, it's a really great way to know uh, to prepare yourself for that workout. The exercise that we're gonna be doing for this workout is some real delt uh, face pulls, and I'm doing this variation right here that I saw Jeff Cavalier from Athlete Next do, and I must say, hey, hands down, <laughs> awesome, awesome work because uh, this thing is uh, is really great. You are going to feel it a lot on your real delts, man. But uh, yeah, those four things uh, that I mentioned, four things I think were, uh, are the things that uh, have really helped uh, this routine uh, go on and be like nice for me. I am going to the gym after work, but it's only for 30 minutes of cardio and after that I'm completely done, okay? So uh, that was that for the workout and that's how I'm feeling right now. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the workout, do it, let me know what you think and we'll keep moving on with the rest of this video. The final day is coming up, day five. <laughs> So 
I've managed to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning for 5 days in a row and I must say I've been loving this routine. I felt more energized, I've been more productive and it has challenged my discipline. That feeling of accomplishment after a workout has become something I look forward to every morning. <music> Alright guys, so after giving this routine a try of waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning for a week, I can honestly say that I definitely, definitely did enjoy it a lot. I have a lot more energy in the mornings, I don't even need coffee. Let that just sink in for a moment because I do need my coffee every single morning, but I did find myself not actually drinking coffee in the mornings anymore, but instead just having a meal and that seemed to work just fine. I was more focused at work, so that's also a plus point. And the one thing that I really, really enjoyed the most about this routine is the amount of free time that I got after work. I felt like I had so much free time to do just things that make me happy, you know, like filming, taking pictures and stuff like that, biking around the city. So that is one thing that, that is the thing that I like the most about this routine. One thing that I do have to say is that if you're planning on doing this routine, if you're planning on waking up earlier than usual, then you need need to have a plan okay you cannot just wake up and think okay today I'm gonna wake up and be productive because the opposite is going to happen okay you're not going to be productive at all or maybe you won't even wake up and uh, if you manage to wake up then you're gonna be like uh, okay I'm up and now what you know what to do with the time that I have now so uh, you really need to have like a plan of what you actually want to accomplish with the waking up early for example for me is working out so I know I gotta wake up in order to hit my workout so that I mean we need to get them gains guys so I'm not gonna be sleeping and missing a workout okay <laughs> so for me it's very important to wake up get my workout in and that's that but for you it might be another thing working on your business just waking up to meditate or going out for a run or it might be something else but it has to be something that really motivates you to wake up early okay the day before you wake up you just sit down Write some goals and write things that you're going to accomplish that morning and that way you can set your alarm in peace and know that you're gonna wake up and really take advantage of the time that you're getting. So that was that for this challenge guy. I did truly enjoy the challenge so I'm gonna keep implementing it through the weeks uh, coming. So I'm very, very excited to just continue on this journey. But with that being said guys, I'm gonna finish off this video right here. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this challenge and take something out of it and try it out for yourself. Remember as always that I'm a certified personal trainer. So if you're looking for a workout routine and meal plan or an online personal trainer, then hit me up on embeddedbodies.com, all right guys? But if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like on this video and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below, all right? So, I guess I'll see you soon. Later, guys.